Ce n'est que nous revoir, mes frères, ce n'est que nous revoir. Happy New Year! Bonne et heureuse année, mes amis. I'm Jojo, Astro Barbie, Queen of Stars, Queen of Everything. Queen of the New Year. That's what you should be, a king and a queen of the New Year. Welcome to your weekly horoscope. This week, the sun is on the sign of Capricorn. Happy birthday to you. We love you, little ghosts of the zodiac. The moon will travel in the signs of Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, and Taurus. That is Mercury when it's, it's going retrograde in Capricorn. It starts the year in a funny, slow matter. 2017 will definitely start very nice, easy, well, sort of, but more slow. Like it's better to just uh, stay put, to do things more quietly and not to jump over fences. It's not a good idea. A good time to also finish up last year's loose ends before you start something new, especially after the 8th of January when Mercury is going to start going frontwards. The new year is an altruistic Aquarius that gives us hope. And you want to be kind to our brothers and sisters from any religion, any faith, any color, any whatever. We're all created equal under God, right? Wednesday, Mercury will reverse back to optimistic Sagittarius. We will need uh, an added effort to focus and stay on track because eh, it's funny, Mercury and Sag, that you want to party. But it's not a good time to party. It's better to be a little serious. For the New Year day, on the first, Mars and Neptune will make a close conjunction that could make us a little sensitive and it's very important to eat healthy, drink moderately and being in good company. Not to hang out with losers, but people who care about you. If they're not caring about you, bye-bye. Don't start the year with losers. Forgiving, letting go of the past are the key to your success, your peace, your joy, your happiness in the coming year. Thursday, grounding day. Friday, big day, important day. Venus planet of love in dreamy Neptune will enter passionate Pisces, I mean Aries, bringing a sense of hope and integrity and honor. People will want to fight for the, what is right. 2017 is a vibration one, new beginnings, a year of the rooster, the beginning of a new nine year cycle. It's going to be a very crazy wild year, but we will learn lots of lessons that need to be learned, like no racism, right? Loving everybody equally, respecting everybody the way they want their lives, right? Love, love, love everywhere. This is what we learned this year. And also to fight for our rights, our human rights. Remember, since the beginning of time, the powers that be always kept people pretty much enslaved. And everybody's been sleeping at the wheels in the last many years. Now it's time to wake up. There's a fight right now between very, very, very dark entities, second dimension beings, first dimension beings. And many people in, in powers, they are sort of being used with those dimensions right now. And they are fighting the light entities, the light dimensions, the fifth and sixth and seventh dimensions who are trying right now to to protect the planet Earth that is really in danger. I mean, the water, the air, the animals, everything, human beings, come on, let's go. And now what's happening in the world, in the political world, you go like, are we going back to 100 years ago, 2000 years ago? No. Anyways, at the end, I'm telling you from my heart, and I know it, the light will prevail. The light will shine. We will see the light at the end of the tunnel. There's some, going, some game going on between dark and light, and that the light will win. Everything grows to the light in the universe. So hang in there and sort of be a good brother and sister to all humanity. Follow your heart and walk on the right side of humanity and history and everything is going to turn out just fine. Even better. Okay. In the universe, the light always conquers the dark darkness. That's the way it goes. It's like there's a lot of dark in the beginning and there was more and more light conquering the the, the, the darkness and that goes the same thing as above so below 2017 will bring many rewards for everyone with a pure heart good intentions and also that really really uh, follow their their human heart and it will bring downfalls and collapse and scandals 
to all the people who are human enslavers, people who abuse, people who really, really try to compress the freedom of people, they will be crushed. So Happy New Year to everyone. You could choose to be on one side or the other, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's all going to work out. All right, so don't worry. Be happy. Fasten your seatbelt, though, and be emotionally attached. That's the secret. And I suggest to you, watch it all like a crazy, wild movie. Okay? Look at it just from not personalized. Look at it objectively because there's nothing you can do about it except that if you need to walk in the street, you do. And if you need to fight your, for your rights, you do. But otherwise, let it be. Enjoy the journey. We're all passing by anyways, and it's all a crazy adventure. That's what I say. Yo, everything's good. I'm going to do like Trump says. Everything's going to be beautiful. Everything's going to be beautiful. Well, at least that's a good part of him, right? Capricorn, happy birthday to you. We love you. Happy birthday to you. Venus planet of love entering your home sector puts you in a very good mood. Family is very important to you now. And somehow it's a good time to take a break from work. Relax, take care of your health, spend quality time with people that you care for. New Year's Eve will be delightful, peaceful, calm, and in the coming year, Saturn, your master in your spiritual house, and also Lucky Jupiter in your karmic sector and career sector will help you create a solid base for the future and a chance to be the best you could be like never before. It's pretty amazing. It's like the last nine years, initiation. Next nine years, reward. Think grandiosa. Your magical color, yellow, lucky numbers, 4 and 48. Aquarius. Well, you are the Aquarius beautiful child and the lucky one for New Year's. Yes, with the moon. With you, it's absolutely beautiful and everybody loves you. Venus planet of love entering your communication sector also bring you wings, joie de vivre, freedom. Get ready for a new experience and closeness with people around you. Some body unusual or some strange circumstances is about to enter your life that will have to do with your soul's purpose somehow. And for the coming year, Jupiter planet of luck in your karmic sector and career house promises success and rewards. You'll be busy like a bee, but also a lot of financial gains and applause. In love, you attract stability and more commitments and more gratitude from friends. Your magical color, silver, lucky numbers, eight and 44. Pisces, Venus entering your financial sector bring hope and protection. You definitely, you end the year in a wonderful mood and you start the year with hope. Get ready for unusual circumstances and fun encounters with original people or powerful people that will definitely give you a boost of energy if not at least inspiration. In love, closeness and commitments await in the coming year. Lucky Jupiter in your relationship sector and shared resources will bring many blessings. You really are lucky. Expect lots of lot of good fortune and also lots of lots of recognition. You pretty much get it all. Yeah, you will work. Yes, you will have responsibilities, but wow, it will pay off. Your magical color, lilac, lucky number six and 48. Aries, Venus entering your sign, bring you optimism, charm, and also hope for your future, your higher energy. Your efforts, your patience, your understanding is rewarded this whole week. Every now and then, the universe gives you a chance to rethink everything, and it's that kind of little luck at the last minute, you're going to experience this this week. Yours is starting, actually, you're going to see around Tuesday, with the, because Tuesday is Mars Day just in time to make the coming year like a year that you will remember because you'll know what you want and you're going to do something about it for the coming year jupiter planet of luck in your relationship and surely resources sector will bring security especially in love and also in your finances your magical color is fuchsia lucky numbers 2 and 21. Taurus, this is indeed a very exciting beginning of the year. Venus, your ruler entering your spiritual sector brings a fresh start, more inner peace. 
and some excitement. It's like inner, but it is exciting. You attract powerful people that help you succeed, allies, in any of your undertakings. For the coming year, Jupiter, lucky Jupiter in your work and relationship sector, bring a new exciting opportunity to surpass yourself like never before in the last nine years. Unbelievable, in love, in career, in health, with family. So think big and rich and invest. Your lucky numbers are 5 and 13, and your magical color, green. Ta-da! Gemini is what you love more than anything else in the world is mingling with people, talking with people. What well, goes double definitely this week because everybody wants a piece of you, and yet you will want to be more by yourself or very close friends. And I think that's the best place to be because this whole 31st and the 1st is sort of a little wild, a little too wild. You like it wild, but this is... I would go more intimate. Venus planet of love also entering your social sector make you popular and aware of your infinite possibilities. In the coming year, lucky Jupiter in your creative and work sector really opens new doors. Definitely expect rewards, breakthroughs, and financial gains, and maybe a project will finally take off, especially you're gonna see around March and April. Take the bull by the horns. You grew up this year and just do things with the heart. Be generous, be generous and hard, be fair, be good for other people, you'll win big. Your magical color orange, lucky like numbers three and 56, ta-da! Cancer, Venus entering your career sector, bring charm, high energy, blessings and ambition, get ready for many positive changes. The year starts with optimism, excitement, and whatever you had challenges, you are doing good with it. You are solving problems, wow. I'm a cancer, I'm doing good. You attract the respect of everyone, and that's good. Be proud of all the things you have accomplished this year. On this happy new year, you are an ambassador of love, peace, hope, and joy to everyone. In the coming year, like a Jupiter in your home and creative sector, promises healing. If you have any health issues, you will heal. Total rebirth in love, health, and career. It's unbelievable. So you little crab, you're changing skin. You're gonna see that a couple of months before your birthday, wow, you're walking on the new beach of life. Shoot for the stars, that's what I say. Connect with the moon, your master, and wish big dreams, all right? Your magical color pink, yay! And your lucky numbers are six and 36. Leos, Venus entering your creative sector brings a spiritual awareness and also wisdom in this beginning of the year. You feel like a nice, beautiful lion. Yeah, there's certain things from last year that needs to go, but now you're gonna be a nice, beautiful lion, lioness, and you're gonna just go for a new jungle made for you. So what, when there's a stick in the wheel of your dreams, it means you need to change dreams or people or house or whatever. So do it. You're the lion. You can do anything. Get ready to surpass yourself in 2017 and to wear your crumb up high on your head. Everyone sees you as a shining star and a hero in many ways. Love is in the air. So you will definitely find love in the coming year. If you're in love, it will be even stronger than before. Or if you're living with somebody, you may be thinking of marriage. In the coming year, Lucky Jupiter in your communication sector and home house will be definitely enhancing your personal life and you have a chance to truly, truly like make a fresh start in all of your life. Be confident. One way or the other, you're moving really up in the world. Your magical color, gold, lucky numbers, 8 and 44. Ta-da! Virgos, Venus entering your shared resources definitely make you sort of strong, brave, optimistic, and also generous. I like the way you think, and you are, you got your act together. What a great time to celebrate who you are and how far you have gone. Wow, you moved the mountains in 2016. By midweek, the energies will sort of uh, go up. Everyone will be delighted to celebrate with you and just enjoy this beautiful, beautiful uh, peaceful kind of beginning of the year. Kindness is very important to you and that's what you want and that's what you will get. The coming year, Lucky Jupiter in your financial and communication house will put you on a pedestal and bless you greatly. All you have to do is to show up. Your magical color turquoise, lucky numbers, nine and 18. 
Libra, Venus entering your relationship sector brings popularity, serenity, and freedom of action. On this beginning of the year, you may feel a little sensitive, but very spiritual and aware and powerful. It's a perfect time to promote yourself, to show the world how talented and amazing and fabulous you are. You are. Don't you know it? For the coming year, Lucky Jupiter and your sign moving to your financial sector in September will bring pure luck recognition. Wow, everything you touch turns to gold. So make a bake, make a big wish. It will be granted. Your magical color lilac, lucky numbers, 1 and 10. ta -da! Scorpio, Scorpio, Venus, planet of love entering your work and health sector gives you superpowers and the ability to wisely, convincingly get what you want from everybody. More than ever, you are becoming the master of your destiny. Your creativity really helps you to manifest almost anything, so dream big. In the coming year, lucky Jupiter in your spiritual sector entering your sign in September will make you one of the luckiest signs of 2017. Are you ready? especially after July, you're gonna feel it. I mean, the summer months, you go like, wow, life is mine. No matter what happens in the world, you will be on the top of your game and the luckiest of all, in career, in money, and love. Trust me, you will feel it. Get ready for popularity, romance, and recognition, and you can have it all. Do you want it all? Get it all and ask for all. The universe will deliver all. Believe in yourself, my cuties. You're a winner. You're the sign of the infinite, infinite possibility, so. Go to work, your magical color for share lucky numbers three and nine. Sagittarius, this is a very cheerful beginning of the year. You feel very spiritual. There's a spiritual twist everywhere you go. Venus, planet of love entering your romantic sector make you also confident, more mellow. You're popular, but you want to spend more time with yourself. But whoever you're with, you're happy. Go out and have fun if you have. Mix it between intimate and also a little fun. You're, you're sort of that perfect balance. In love, important choices await. And for the coming year, Jupiter, your ruler in your social and spiritual sector, and Saturn, the planet of wisdom that is still on your sun until the December 19, all of 2017, continues to help you create a solid base, a new solid bait for a new brand future. It's all gonna be different, but so much better for you. Know what you want, know who you are, and the universe will take care of the details. Self-awareness and inner peace definitely await. Your magical color, red lucky numbers, four and eight. Ta-da! And now here's this beautiful wizard affirmation of this beautiful beginning of the year, 2017. And 2017 is a, a, it's a game changer for everyone. The people on top, the people in the middle, the people at the lower of the scale. Nobody could just sit at the wheel. I mean, it's a waking up kind of year, and it's good because we need to wake up. You want to be happy, you want to be free, you want to be lucky, it's very simple. Just love, give, share, be generous. Share your good fortune with other people. That's the key, everything you give to others, everything you don't give to others, it's all to you. So at the end, the karma, it always works. It works above, it works below, it works everywhere because everything is energy. So you, we all are born to serve. This is the thing we need to connect this year and we need to unite. Love is the answer, not divisions, not walls, not aggress aggressivity, not racism. Let, let it be. You know the song for the Beatles? Let it be, let it be. Let people be, please. Love, love, love. And treat other people the way you would like to be treated. And don't impose your philosophies on others. Just let people be and love. Forgive, forget. Mind your own business. Okay? Ce n'est que nous revoir, mes frères, ce n'est que nous revoir. I love you, everybody. Thank you for being my friends. I care for you. Happy New Year. Uh, bye. Ce n'est que nous revoir, mes frères, ce n'est que nous revoir. Call me to find out what's going to happen to you in 2017. Let's have a reading. Bye.